All right, well, kind of figure maybe you guys might want to see my lathe. Uh, I don't know if the lighting's working so great, but it's a Craftsman. Uh, it's really an Atlas though, but it was sold through Craftsman. It's a model 101-07403. And on these things here, if you're lucky and you still got the original headstock bearings, a lot of times they'll be engraved with the date that they were put together. And this one just happens to be 1957. And, you know, this thing was in such great shape that I had to pull it out of a trash can. You can see how bad the ways are worn here. Uh, as long as you're not planning on doing a lot of long turning, so you can get by. And another little casualty to the whole rescue is uh, this piece here. I don't know if you can tell too much, but it's bent. So it's steel, so it shouldn't be too hard to straighten that back out, but I just haven't got around to it. And that cover had gotten busted off, so I had to find a new one. This one's cast iron. I'm pretty sure the original was aluminum. Got the gears. I've actually bought two of these things and kind of pieced together this one mostly. Although, the part right here, that was broken off when they were... They put a chain around this thing and just yanked it out of the scrap bin that it was in. Well, anyway... I was got lucky and a guy on the uh, Craftsman Yahoo group had one. I think he sold it to me for like 10 bucks. And the other problem we got here, the lead screw. I don't know if we can... Nah, it's not focusing very well, but the lead screw is worn out really bad and the half nuts are completely worn out. But I managed to dig up a set of new old stock ones, so... That should get us moving. We got uh, just a ridiculous amount of slop in this thing here. You know how much play that is. Uh, not not quite a quarter of a turn. <laughs> so I have to find new gears for that. There. It's part of what I want to do with dull brown and sharp. Oh, what can I else can I say about this here? Eh. Fortunately, I don't have the, uh, the dauber. Maybe I'll follow Mr. Pete and make one. This here runs pretty good back here. And then, project that I've got here, let's see if I can show you this. This thing here, I rigged it up, I can mount this into my spindle and then put the chuck on. And I got another piece. This is a hundred tooth disc. Uh, excuse me, saw blade. And it's, uh, I don't know. If I can get it where you can see it. Avanti OSB and plywood. Anyway, it's five and a half inches, not too big. Doesn't take up the whole world back here when we're trying to use it for indexing. But then I can I'll have to make a, a center I can put here into the chuck. And I'll turn it so it'll be running perfectly concentric then. And then I got this little gizmo back here. I made myself an arbor, and this thing here, let me find it, there it is. It's made for 375 thousands, three eighths, right? So right about here in, in the middle is pretty close to where it hits three eighths. I got a little dummy I can put on here so you can see how it works. So this thing tapers just very, very little. See, it kind of seats there, and then you, now it's locked in there real good, and that'll stay concentric with the, you know, with the center of that bore, and it's got centers drilled in it. And one side's perfect, and the other side's off two thousands, but, oh well, for what I need, uh, that'll be all right. I'd wish for better, but, you know, yeah, there's a lot of other things that need to be better besides that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I saw this old rusty hunk of metal up, and I'm going to make inch and a half dials to go on here. I don't know if you guys can read that dial. Let me see if I can zoom in. Not too bright, huh? Uh, 
doesn't help in any. Yeah. I don't know. And I got pretty good eyes. And I clean that thing up. But man, it's really, really difficult to read these dials. I mean, they're almost smooth. You can barely see the marks. And I know this camera ain't doing it justice. But... At any rate, so I make a new set of those. It's a hundred, hundred thousandths all the way around on one of them dials. Well, a hundred tooth blade. That's how I'm going to do the index to make my dials. So that'll probably be... I don't know if I'm going to be able to shoot that video, but I'll shoot the aftermath, I guess. Anyway, we'll see you all around.